nothing moves fast. Tom Lakamp knows scenes like in Miami all too well. There's always a hope until you, you are, you know, you've exhausted any area where you think there might be a void for survival. As the operations chief for Cincinnati Fire and the commissioner for the Hamilton County Urban Search and Rescue Team, he and the team around him get that call to save lives. The key is having uh, really good experts that are with you. Um, you know, they probably have a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D that they are, they are starting to implement uh, simultaneously. Back in December, his team responded to a deadly collapse of an old plant. Their response paid off. The uh, killing collapse, we were able to you know, rescue um, one of the workers uh, within the first you know, three hours. We were able to, to make that rescue, and that does a lot for morale. Lake Camp says the tragic incidents of Miami and Adams County are different because of the construction methods and possibility of open areas for survival. But the bottom line remains the same. The men and women on these teams are putting their tools and training into action to reunite families. What you've seen on television and what you've been on the file is you know, they're coming in from the bottom, they're coming in from the top. They are doing whatever they can. Um, to, to put, you know, give anybody the, the opportunity to survive. Lake Camp tells me the urban search and rescue team here is made up of about 125 members from fire departments across the region. And you can hear our full conversation on the Beyond the Studio podcast, which is out right now. Stephen Albert and WLWT News 5.